hey guys welcome back so in the last video we have written code inside this main activity and, and perform the on click listener to navigate to the next activity and also created this uh, insert activity class and uh, different uh, activities for delete show and update activity okay so today we will design this insert activity and write code inside main class so let's start We can also write this hint inside this values folder string.xml. So now let's try insert this uh, insert activity now declare edit text edit text id name and programming language now for button submit okay so now id is equal to find view by d r dot id dot id name is equal to find view by d r dot id dot name Programming language is equal to find view by id r dot id dot programming language. R dot id dot favorite language. And for button submit is equal to find view by id r dot id dot submit and let's implement one click listener for button submit or set on click listener new view dot on click listener okay so inside this one click now let's take one string string result and declare it null for now and also take one input stream input stream and also declare it as a null and, uh, okay let's import the input stream okay so now we will add this edit text value into string of variables so string input id is equal to id dot get text dot to string okay so we will do same for the name and programming language programming language okay programming language and name okay 
so now let's take one array list array list of name value pairs name value pairs is equal to new array list of name value pairs okay and okay uh, it will be name value pair okay and now let's add data to this array list dot add input id it will be the name and uh, it will be the index and the value will be input id okay let's do it for input name and for programming language okay so here we are getting error of name value pair because we have not imported the apache library for using this uh, database connection so go to this greater script and uh, insert that uh, build or greater that module one and insert this default config and use library org dot apache dot http dot legacy and sync this reader file here it is showing error because your required type is integer and we have provided a string so for that we will do new basic name value paired name value pair and inside that we will pass this string id okay and also this input id okay and we will do this same for the both in name and language okay so now now let's here add one strict to mode dot thread policy strict mode dot thread policy is equal to new strict mode dot thread policy dot builder dot permit all dot build so this strict mode dot thread policy is used for the safety if uh, by accident we have did done something wrong or due to some network issue okay and uh, let's here also add strict mode dot thread policy and we are pass this policy okay now set thread policy okay and now we will write try catch block for getting the data and in catch pass the exception exception e and here we will do one log log error we need to import this log dot a error and 
error in HTTP connection plus e dot to stream okay we will pass what error we got okay and uh, we will do a toast message toast dot make text get application context comma error in connection and toast dot length long dot show okay so if we got some error then we will toast and message that error in connection and inside this try block we will do http connection so http client http client is equal to new default http client it is the opposite default client okay now http post http post is equal to new http post and inside this we will pass the URI of the connection string of inserting the record so that we will pass later on now let's add http post dot set entity new URI URL encoded format entity and inside that we will pass name value pair so this set entity will send our input record input data to the database and now http response is equal to http client dot execute and pass the http url means http post and now http entity is equal to response dot get entity and in last input string is equal to http entity dot get context and now let's uh, make a log for this log dot e log underscore pass and uh, we will uh, send a message a connection success and we will also do a toast on toast dot make text get application context connection success and toast dot length long dot so okay so here with the help of this http we will do the connection with the api call and if the connection will be successful then we will send this inserted value which we have added in this name value pair to the database and we will insert that and we will toast and message that connection success or we can send record inserted okay okay so now so in the next video we will convert this response to a string and pass the string to this result and we will write the php 
code to insert the data to the database and we will pass that API to this URI to insert the record to the database. I have also added the source code to the GitHub and the link is in the description. So please go and check it out the GitHub repo and feel free to ask if you have, if you have any doubt and please make a comment. So see you guys in the next video. Please like, share and don't forget to subscribe to Less Tech.